Hello, welcome to Mr. King Chemistry. All right, so today we are going to talk about LK. So today I'm going to focus on the chemical properties of LK, as it is very important in exam. So alkene, we know that alkene they are unsaturated hydrocarbon. Right. So we see they are unsaturated hydrocarbon is because of the presence of double bond. Okay, uh, the presence of double bond. So basically, I mean the very first chemical properties of alkene is in terms of combustion. So which means when they are with oxygen, they will produce carbon dioxide and water. So for example, you see C2H4, which is it when it is with oxygen. You know that oxygen is needed for combustion. We will produce carbon dioxide and water. Right. So then you need to balance the equation. 2 carbon, 4 hydrogen and eventually so this will be the equation right so the very first property, chemical property should be combustion then followed by uh, addition reaction so we know that since it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon so therefore you can carry out addition reaction uh, this is very important okay i must start with her uh, mm, important so basically the very first chemical property is that i mean addition reaction uh, the first one will be hydrogenation, okay, which means you add hydrogen. So, always remember when you add hydrogen, it will basically turn alkene from an unsaturated hydrocarbon into alkene, okay, which is the saturated hydrocarbon. So, for example, Hmm. C two, okay. See double bond, okay. C two H four. It did when it react with hydrogen. So basically, the double bond it will break. The double bond will break, then you extend. Right. So in extend, basically you react with each of the hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. So eventually you become. It did. Right. Then followed by the next equation. Uh, the next property other than hydrogenation, it also can react with halogen. Okay, we call it halogenation. Okay, which means you add hydrogen, it can be Br2, Cl2, or even I2. Right. So, for example, hmm, you have it in same. When you read it, for example, in this case, we read it Br2. Mm -hmm. Br2, okay, bromine gas. Then eventually you will form same things, okay, the double bond will break and it will extend, extend, yeah? So when the double bond is broken, it will extend and it will bind with each of the bromine atom. Br, Br. So in this case, what you call it, then it will form, you see, there's two Br, isn't it? So you call it dibromo, and this is a saturated hydrocarbon, which is also called ethane. Right, so we see there's observation for this, which is, we know that the color for this it is brown. Right, so which means when you add alkene with halogen, for example, bromine gas, okay, so the observation will be from brown to colorless. All right, so this is for when you write with Br2. When it is, when you write with Cl2, it will form observation will be from yellow to colorless right so basically this also is a test for you can i uh, used to test whether the compound is alkene or alkene okay basically a popular method where you can use to differentiate alkene from alkene right then the next <coughs> i can use this so, oops right then the next chemical reaction of under addition reaction it will be hydration right hydration basically means you react with water right so when alkene okay react with water it will basically 
turns into alcohol. Right, so for example, see, eating, okay, eating when it red with water, right? So you know that uh, generally water it is formed from hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. So, same things, right? So the double bond will break, hmm, then you extend. Each of the carbon will bind with hydrogen and hydroxide. So hydrogen and hydroxide. See? So alcohol is formed. This is what I call ethanol. Right guys? So basically this is the chemical properties of alkane. And every single of it is very important, especially for addition reaction. Okay? Right. Always remember, okay, when alkane react with hydrogen, it will turns into a saturated hydrocarbon. Okay, when you react with a uh, halogen, uh, basically there will be some color changes. Okay, uh, color changes for you to observe, for you to determine that the compound is basically alkene because there will be no reaction with alkene. If, if, if it is a saturated hydrocarbon, there will be no reaction okay, with halogen. So basically this is a popular, a popular method where you can use to differentiate alkene from alkene. Then the last one will be hydration. Hydration basically means you water. Okay, so when you add water, you can basically turn alkene into alcohol. Okay, so basically uh, normally you can, in exam, they will say red with steam. Okay, which is water. Right, so far so good guys. Right, that's all for today. Thanks. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you. Jiayu.